the mine. The Bank of Ghana has acquired a new data collection and management software visor to enable it to meet the challenges of the digital age. The software will help the central bank to collect, process, store and report on macro and micro prudential and statistical data. Dr. Ernest Addison mentioned this at the 23rd National Banking Conference of the Chartered Institute of Bankers Ghana in Accra. Conference of the Banking Community provides a platform for discussion on topical and pressing issues in the banking industry. One area that has engaged the attention of the Ghanaian bankers since 2000 is how to deploy technology, including the EFASS system, to deliver efficient banking service. But today, the digital and mobile revolution have brought to the fore the need for the BOG to monitor and enhance its ability to access regulated institutions' data on real-time basis. The governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Ernest Addison, said a lot has been achieved under the digitization drive, but with the introduction of cutting-edge technology, the banking sector in the country will be positioned to provide world-class service. It is gratifying to note that presently, 16 financial technology firms and 22 banks have forged alliances to deliver various financial products and services. Banks are not only competing among themselves, but also with non-traditional providers, such as the fintechs. This raises the stakes for banks to recalibrate existing business models to appropriately deal with the increased levels of competition or risk being outcompeted. The head of payment systems, Bank of Ghana, Dr. Seto Amedeku, said consumer protection is high on the radar of the regulator. This era is also creating opportunity for new forms of financial services to emerge to provide payment and cross-border transactions, rendering monetary of transactions becoming more complex. Emerging technology may support greater efficiency of staying compliant. RegTech solutions, for instance, may support financial institutions to improve their risk management and regulatory compliance. These solutions may also open up opportunities for digitization of control and support functions within financial institutions. The regulator advised industry players to comply with international standards and best practices to instill trust, build credibility and integrity for the financial system. The theme for this year's conference is the digital age, implication for growth and sustainability of the financial